Welcome back to another episode, guys. Please like and subscribe. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. This week we make an unexpected stop at some beautiful islands to the north of Ambon. We catch fish and have a beach cook-up that gets interrupted. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we pulled anchor this morning from that little place that we were anchored. Um, there was supposed to be, uh, we got told there was crocodiles there and we pulled anchor and went up next to Nalakai and Matt was telling us that this morning he reckons he's seen a crocodile, he took a photo, he reckons he's seen a crocodile just cruising past our boat. So um, we did swim a bit, the kids went spearing. We were very, we kept a good close eye on them and um, I was in the water too, but yeah, that's a little bit scary. Anyway, we're off today and our next stop is Misul. Raja Ampat is one of the places that when we came to Indonesia was on the top of the list. We got really close three years ago. We got 250 nautical miles away and we had some starter motor issues and then we had to leave the country. So we didn't get there, but we are one day from getting to Mosul, which is the start of Raja Ampat. And oh my gosh, to say we're excited is an understatement. We can't wait to get there. Uh, the diving is supposed to be incredible. Uh, you were excited and we can take you guys. So you should be excited. But we are sailing along, we got the engine on just because there's a little bit of cone at the moment. We've got good wind on the beam and we're going about six knots. And um, today is just gonna be a great day. I just feel it. Hey babe, are you excited? I'm excited. We're excited! <laughs> plan was to sail two days to Mosul, but there was an anchorage nearby. There was lots of squalls around us and after contemplating continuing, we decided that we were going to stop. So we're just coming into our anchorage. It's not ideal conditions, we don't like doing this, but we're coming in in the dark. We do have waypoints of coming in from actually from SV Delos, they've been here and um, we've got their marks. <laughs> So we're just following uh, SV Nalakai in. They're they're already in there. Kids are out the front with a torch. Lee's at the back. He's got Overtel, and I've got um, my phone here. just had a massive storm and it sounded like we got hit by lightning. It was the biggest crack. But I think we're all good. There's no electronics or anything that's not working, so. Yeah, we're very close to the avenue drop anchor. Yeah, we pull up on it. Right, I might drop somewhere here anyway, eh? What do you reckon? 
We dropped our anchor in 20 metres of water in the dark, amongst reef. We felt we were in a good spot, but doing this at night, you never actually feel great about it. It's so deceiving in the dark, and we're never totally sure where everything is and how far things are away from us. The morning came and we woke to a beautiful paradise with plenty of distance from the reef. We had anchored perfectly. Oh, it must be getting shallow now. I can see the bottom. What have we got? Eight point or nine metres. What we come across last night coming in. Actually quite clear. Living in our tiny home, our 40-foot sailing boat, Catalpa, we have to find moments to have time together, just the two of us. And waking up early before the teenagers are bored is our favourite way to do just that. Living on a boat is a wonderful lifestyle, but it does challenge your relationship at times. Making time for each other is not only the best relationship advice I have, it's also a beautiful way to fall in love over and over again. Song on, I put my feet up. And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving How's this little beach shack holiday home? I wonder who the lucky owner of this place is. Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? Put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I just love. After the boys speared us some dinner, we headed to the beach for a fire cooker. We did see some clouds, but decided to go anyway. The men assured us that it wouldn't last long, and it'll probably pass over soon, they said. 
found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right Just to come off the brim right there where I hold it. Oh yeah, I got that hand. <laughs> After we realised it wasn't letting up, the women and children fled back to our warm dry boats to cook dinner on the barbecue. We got it. out at the beach but we've come back to Nalakai and we're gonna have a uh, barbecued fish and coleslaw flatbreads and baked potatoes Gentlemen, look at this morning spectacular our morning mission was to get some fish to stock the freezers We've just been out for a little spear. We're about to move on to Masul. Now look at the flesh on that, guys. That's your coral trout. One thing I like to do when I've when I'm um, filleting a fish, I always like to just cut the stomach open and see what the fish feed on. It's just curiosity because they eat all different types of things. And I've just cut the stomach open on this fella and look at this thing that's coming out of it. Look at the size fish that this one ate, hey? He had a fair, pretty good appetite there, I reckon. Oh yeah, there you have it. He nearly ate the fish that come out of his belly. They don't, why don't they swallow it whole? Yeah. Got a good set of choppers. Good size mouth. Look at the teeth on that, guys. Oh. So he's just gone straight in there. We pulled anchor after a great day and started the 80 nautical mile sail to get to Masul, Raja Umpat.
switching over. Taj is on watch now. We're about three hours away from Masul. We had a really nice night, but there was no wind, so we made it the entire way. Moon was out, and we had a beautiful sunrise this morning, but no wind. It's like a sheet of glass out here, but yeah, we're only three hours from our anchorage. Please asleep. I'm going back to sleep because I've only had three hours sleep last night. And uh, when I wake up, we're going to be in Russia. Oh, but 